Ciao everyone and welcome back to yet another video and today for you I have my November favorites. So I don't have too much but don't have too little so I'm just going to get right into it and try not to chat too much so this video isn't long as... yeah. <laughs> so the first things that I'm going to start off with are um, makeup products. Um, firstly, um, since this is the only makeup application thing that I have in my favorites, um, I'm going to start with this. And this is the e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush. I love this brush. It is amazing. Specifically, I love it when applying my bronzer. My, my bronzer. <laughs> my, I specifically love it when applying my bronzer. Um, the angled is just, just, just perfect for going right along and then up and then just it's been amazing. It's so soft and it's so cheap and it works really well couldn't ask for anything. I think anything more because I think this was only four dollars so you really cannot beat the price on this. Next, since um, I use that to apply bronzer, I'm gonna include the bronzer that I've been enjoying the most. And this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now let me just say, this stuff is freaking amazing. It smells, ugh, it smells like I was on vacation, like it just smells like vacation and it makes me want to go on vacation. It just, ugh. it smells so good. It's so smooth and so buttery. Like literally this bronzer is just amazing and you can't beat the price. Like this bronzer is absolutely amazing. It's $13 so it is pricier like when it comes to drugstore stuff but at the same time like it's worth it. It's well worth it. You just have to believe me. You have to go out and you have to buy it now. Stop. Stop watching. Actually, no. Keep watching. After this video, go out, go buy it if you don't have it already. Go buy it. Go, go buy it. Okay. Next things are going to be lip products. And I have four right here. So since I have three that are Rimmel, I'm just going to go in with Rimmel. And I've talked about these briefly on my drugstore haul and review I got these so it's the Rimmel lasting finish thousand kisses stay on lip contouring pencil in 71 cherry kiss this is amazing I love it it's a great great um lip pencil why did I forget what it was called for a second um but I love it even more because it goes perfectly with these two lipsticks I didn't have to get a separate lip liner for them. I'm actually wearing the lip liner right now with this lipstick and the lipstick that I'm wearing is um, the Rimmel Kate Moss in 30 right now. It's the one I'm wearing and I love it. Loved, loved it throughout November and especially this one too. This one I wore in my get ready with me Thanksgiving and I, I just... These Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks are just, honestly, so far, in my opinion, I mean, I haven't tried too many different drugstore lipsticks, but, like, these are amazing and so cheap, and the formula is just great, and I just, I love them. I can't pick between the two which one I like better. I'm thinking maybe this one in 107 that I have here that I wore my Get Ready With Me Thanksgiving video, but... Nonetheless, I absolutely love both, and it's so amazing that this lip liner works with both. So, yeah, and these were just great for the fall time, so. Yep. Next, I have um, Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Longwear Lipstick, and this is in Chocolate Honey. This came with their Merry Christmas set. And let me just say, that set in general, I love. But this one in particular is the one that I found myself wearing quite a bit in November and just love it. And you can't beat the fact, and I can't open it, it smells like chocolate. And I'm such a huge chocolate lover, so this is just right up my alley. And also, this is just, it's such a great, like brownie nude it's just 
I love it. You can't go wrong with this color, and I just, I really, 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 I really like it. Okay, and then another thing with makeup that I've been loving is my Tarte Tartiest Paints Palette Collector Set. And this is just the eyeshadow part that I've been loving. The other, the other things that came with it, I'm like, eh, on. But the eyeshadow, I'm obsessed with. Like, it's just, there are so many great colors in here. I'm just like, although the only thing is, like, some of the shimmer... The shimmery colors aren't that pigmented as compared to like the other matte colors or just other colors in general. Some are more pigmented than others, but besides that, there are some really, really great colors in here um, from like just, let's see, like any sort of different fall look that you'd want to do, any sort of like nude look. Um, I've used this for both of my makeup tutorials that I have on my um, channel. I've just been using this so much recently because it just has everything and it's literally perfect like if I go away it has since it has this little drawer that more stuff came in like this would be perfect to take with travel because it has all sorts of different shadows that you will need and you can put anything else that you need that are a bit smallish in there so it's great. Love it. Okay so sticking with sort of just beauty in general so but since it's kind of makeup talking about makeup, I'm just going to go in with my new makeup remover that I, and I have lipstick on my teeth. wonder how long that was like that for. Okay. Anyways, sticking with sort of kind of makeup, um, and just what I, since we're talking about makeup, and just going to go in with makeup remover that I've been liking recently, and actually not liking, loving, just, I love this stuff. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This stuff is amazing. I was a little, like, when I went to the store, I wanted the Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk, but they were sold out. So I just went with this one, and I think this was, like, 27 29 like, somewhere around there, price-wise. And when I first heard about it, I was, like, seemed like an interesting concept when the lady was telling me about it. It's literally like a balm, and you just dip your fingers right into it, put it on your face, and then just like massage it on, and it melts your makeup, and your makeup just comes right off. Like before, I would have um, a few problems with not being able to get all of my makeup off with what I was using before, but with this, like it, it all just comes off, and it comes off so easily, especially mascara, like it just melts right off. Although it does look a little scary because, you know, the black going all over, but it's fine because as soon as you, like, wash it off, it's fine. But, um, the only thing is I don't know how well or how much people with oily skin would love this because, um, it turns, like, into an oil as you're washing it off and it's melting the, the makeup off. So I'm not sure about that, people with oily skin, but I love it. And yeah, so just afterwards, once you massage it off and your makeup's like all melted off and all over your face just sitting there, you want to rinse it off very, very well, especially because it's like an oil, so you want to get that off your face and then go through with your normal um, cleanser and skin routine. So yeah, but I've absolutely been loving this stuff. So um, sticking with beauty stuff, um, we'll go with bath. And this is the Bath & Body Works um, Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel. This stuff smells amazing. I stopped using it and switched to a different one because I don't want to like have it empty and then not have it anymore because I just love it so much. But it literally smells so, 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 so good. Um, I need to go pick up more of the scent before all of it is like gone for a year but yeah and I love the packaging it's so cute like the little copper lid I just so cute I went on about the copper lids in my Bath and Body Works haul which let me just say really quickly is like my most viewed video ever and it has like 1.3k views what but anyways yes I absolutely love this stuff 
Okay, I'm gonna put it away before I smell it for the rest of this video. But it smells amazing. So also with beauty, but now with hair products, um, this is the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo, and it has 0% paraben or colorants, and it's natural tapioca instantly um, absorbs excess oil. And this stuff is amazing. I don't know how much it is because I think my mom picked it up and I saw it sitting there and I was like, hmm, I want to try this. So I tried it and it's great. Let me just say, great. Um, usually before I always use the trust me, trust me, trust me, the, I can't speak today. Usually I always use the trust me dry shampoo and it's great for when it comes to like styling and stuff like it makes it adds a lot of volume that one but this one really 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 does soak up the oil and the grease when my hair is like mainly three days old two days old it's not that bad but it like it works miracles and it doesn't leave my hair feeling like sometimes like dry shampoo can leave your hair feeling really weird but it doesn't at all and it's just it's great. I love it. I love, 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 love this stuff. And it doesn't smell too bad either. I don't. Yeah, no, it doesn't smell bad at, at all. I couldn't remember how it smelled like, so I sprayed it. But yeah, it's not, um, the, sh the smell isn't too strong. But yes, this stuff is amazing. So yeah, another thing with hair. This is the Garnier Fruit Teeth. Um, sleek and shine, intensely smooth, leave in, leave, leave in, leave in conditioning cream. This stuff is amazing. It has helped my hair so much because it is dyed and stuff. And I do really need to get it cut, so it's been very like dry and not too smooth lately. So using this after I wash my hair makes like has improved it so much, and it smells really good so I've absolutely been loving this stuff and I've actually used this for quite a while but I just recently like in November started using this again so but this stuff is amazing so lastly thing that I have to show you that like I have like to show you is Bath and Body Works again and this is the Twisted Peppermint 3 Wick Candle this is honestly I think my favorite candle ever it smells amazing because also duh it's peppermint I love anything and everything peppermint but not only because it's peppermint do I love it but this candle smells so like the smell of it even after like it makes the whole house smell really good if I just have it burning in my room I can go upstairs and I can still smell this stuff it's so strong and then even hours like I mean, I don't know how long, like how many hours, it may just be an hour or so, but like even after I blow it out, my room still smells like this for like the longest time, and I just love it. I really, really, really need to go pick up another one of these because this is just amazing. I didn't even have it for like a month. Like I stopped using it halfway through the month because I was burning through it so much and I wanted to save some of it. So yeah, this candle is amazing. If you like peppermint scented smells, go get it okay so normally I have my um, Spotify month in music that I get to tell you guys about but for whatever reason I didn't get one for November which I was really sad about but I am just gonna tell you that I went back to listen to stuff that I used to listen to when I was like a freshman in high school so almost four years ago so like I went back to listening to Lil Mix and Justin Bieber and I have no regrets I went back um so I was absolutely loving Lil Mix's Get Weird and then when they came out with their new album Glory Days that's what it's called um I loved that too that came out November 18th but F.U. off Glory Days is literally perfect like I was obsessed with that song still am and then I went back and was going through and listening to Justin Bieber's journals and purpose and it just it was great reminiscing and listening to all that stuff again because I haven't been listening to pop too much lately so I loved those throughout November okay so Netflix wise I 
enjoyed, actually, not Netflix-wise, TV show-wise in general. Um, there are two shows that I have been watching recently, and I finally went through, and in my last favorites, I told you, I think it was my last favorites, I was going on about Shadowhunters and the Mortal Instruments series and all that, and I've been putting it off watching the show because I was just after the movie, and the movie just didn't, wasn't, and ugh, compared to the books, it was so off, it was just, ugh. So I decided to finally go in and watch the show. Let me just tell you, I actually really, really, really like the show. The only thing is, some of the acting here and there is kind of eh in spots, but other than that, it's really good, and I can't wait for season two to start up in January, so it's coming so quickly. Can't wait. But yeah, and compared to the books, they're not off too bad. They do change a little things here and there, but if it was exactly like the books, the people like me who have read the books, there wouldn't be anything new. Like, they would know everything. So, props. They finally got it right. And another show that I have been watching is Lucifer, and I do believe it's on Fox, but it's so funny. It's, like, it's just great. It's pretty much, like, the devil goes on vacation, leaves hell, and comes up here and decides to live in LA and help solve crimes. So, I'm currently watching season two, and it's... It was great. I loved it. Love it. I've always loved that show. It's a show that I watched with my dad, so I do miss watching it with my dad, but still watching it regardless, and yeah. Okay, so I think that is everything. Please do let me know down in the comments what are some of the things that you enjoyed throughout the month of De December. I almost said December. The month of November. Yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also to subscribe. So until next time, bye!